Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you. Let's get stuck in. So question here from Stephen Mark. I asked this on your you on this on YouTube, but I thought I'd ask it via Facebook as well. I'm having a real problem slicing my driver. Almost all of my other clubs I can hit straight or with a slight fade, five to seven yards usually, or occasionally draw. My driver, however, is a massive slice or bad snap hook. I can never seem to get it under control and it and hit it straight. I have tried swinging slower and it just ends up going short slice. I've tried nearly everything and no to fix the problem, but nothing is working. Any advice? Right, Stephen, interesting question. Get this question a lot. Um, look, there's this little thing called D-plane, which you should look up. There's videos on it. I've done one. There's loads of good videos on it. Um, let's get a driver here. Where if you're hitting with a club with less loft, so a driver, the angles you apply to the ball, so the face, the path, and the face to path angles, need to be more precise, arguably, than a more lofted club, because they will create more spin axis, tilt of the ball, which you understand as spinning, curvature, slice, and hook. So your driver's always gonna be harder to hit straighter than your irons because of the loft, the D-plane issue, which research D-plane, and I'll make it clearer. The other thing that happens, it's a longer club, so often people's strikes with a driver are more varied sometimes than with an iron. If you're not hitting the ball out the middle of the face, if you're hitting out the toe and the heel, bottom and the top, there's this thing called gear effect where the ball spins on the face to produce more curvature. Or so the ball moves on the face, tilts on the face to create more curve. So lots of people are hitting shots not straight because they're not actually hitting the middle of the bat. I got a few students at the moment who apply pretty good angles but they can't hit it out the middle enough and they keep getting cut spin even when they're actually applying pretty good angles to the ball because they keep hitting it out of the heel. So your strike. The other thing to think about in relationship to your slices to snap hooks, that sounds like to me like you're swinging massively out to in, so from right to left, so swinging to the left, with the face sometimes open to that path, which will curve the ball back to target or beyond, often beyond, or if you swing out to in and then close the face of that path, there's your snap hook starting left, going further left. So the other thing I would suggest is checking your grip, because it sounds like your face control is not so good to be getting such extremes, unless you're mishitting them. If you're striking the ball in a snap hooky way and striking the ball with heavy slice, that's a different question. That is gonna be more grip and your swing and how your wrists are working, club face control issues. If you're mishitting it and getting these varied spins, well, you've got to start working out why you're mishitting it. Are you not stabilising as you come in and hit the ball very well? Are you still driving your hips as you hit the ball, lifting your left foot? Those kind of things. Things I'd advise, definitely go and see someone who can help you. Obviously, from that description, I can just give you a few ideas of what I've seen in my lessons from people who have asked that question. Look at a few basics. Look at your grip and setup. Monitor your strike. So what's causing those shape shots? Is it that your face to path angles are just changing so dramatically to create the snap up to the fade? Or are you just completely mishitting it? And then the answers to those questions is going to someone local and getting a lesson who can try and give you some ideas of why you are not controlling the face. It might be your grip, set up, many things. Um, kind of answers your question. Obviously won't give you the answer you definitely want because I can't, it doesn't just fix you. But it gives you hopefully a bit of an idea of where to look to make those improvements to those dramatic differences but very common five yards of fade with a seven iron with a driver certainly striking it all across the face could quite easily turn into 20 yards of slice and hook hope this helps search d plane research d plane check that out it'll make this make more sense um, let me know what you think and how you go thanks for posting the comments and uh, hopefully i got back to you in time so you catch this one speak to you soon so if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.